And the jury in the seven deadly sins capital murder trial has gone home for the day after beginning deliberations this afternoon. Frederick Rogers is accused of killing seven people in Valamoso Springs in June of 2020. Testimony has shown there was a dispute within his seven deadly sins motorcycle club, which led to the shooting of a member, but most of the victims were killed because they were considered witnesses. We have a team of journalists covering this case and News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson joins us now. Brian. Right. This morning, the prosecution asked jurors during their closing statement not to focus on Rogers, but on the victims in this case, on Rogers friend who was shot in the back, a woman who invited Rogers and his co-defendant over to dinner, shot 13 times. Another victim was asleep. He was shot 16 times. Co-defendant John Legg, who Rogers said killed three people, does not yet have a trial date. Now, prosecutors pointed to Rogers' FBI interviews. They said the only time he cried was when he started thinking about himself in prison, and he laughed when describing the killings. In its closing statement, the defense also said Rogers is guilty, but argued this morning some of the charges against him were not proven, including arson and burglary in connection with the murders. Now, the jury began deliberating shortly after 2 o'clock. Now, both sides, as we said, said Rogers is guilty, which suggests the jury won't be deliberating for that long. If he's found guilty, the case moves to the penalty phase where the two sides will argue if Rogers should get the death penalty or life in prison without parole. Now, our Dallas Parker's been in the courtroom all day and we'll have an update from her coming up later on News 19. Lauren.